When we think about alcohol, money and success, they appear to be connected. Think about the successful, wealthy and powerful fictional characters that you see in movies and TV series. More often than not, they're accompanied with alcohol. James Bond, Don Draper, Vito Corleone. These rich, wealthy, powerful men all seem to enjoy an alcoholic drink. And the danger is, is that what we can start doing is making these false associations that alcohol, success, power, finances, and influence are all connected. When we think about whiskey, old fashions, you know, champagne, what do we think of? We think of luxury, we think of wealth, we think of success, we think of business. And guess what? This is a complete lie. And today in this video, I'm going to explain exactly why sober people create so much more success and wealth and amazing things for themselves and for their family than a drunk person ever can. There is a nuance to all of this, and though there is actually a drunk person, a person that drinks alcohol, that can create incredible amounts of financial success. And I'm going to get to that in the end of the video. That's going to be a little bit controversial, but you've got to watch the whole video for that to actually make sense. So don't skip it. Just wait till I get to it. And just before we get into the video, if you want to get my personal help stopping drinking in the Sober Clip program, where we help business owners, professionals, investors reframe the way that they view alcohol. So it's literally like they don't want to drink. They just see alcohol in a different way. And then we have a community and use coaching to really focus on the future. We've already helped clients from NASA, Google, JP Morgan. If you want to see if this program could be a good match for you, either go to soberclear.com to read a bit more or just click the link in the description and book a call. We can jump on a quick call and see if the program could be a good match for you. And now back into the video. So firstly, let's define what exactly money is. Well, all money is, is something that we use to exchange value. You've got this gold bar. I've got this money. I'll give you this money in exchange for this gold bar. You have a service, you're a lawyer, and I need a lawyer service. I'll give you my money. You give me your service. That's all it is. It's an exchange of value. So if we want to attract more money into our life, then what do we do? Well, we simply go out and we create value. We create value in a marketplace. So that means we either create physical products or we create a service that helps people, that adds value in their life. And because that's something that they need, they give us money in exchange. So why am I saying that sober people make far more money than a drinker does? Well, if you're going out into the world and you're trying to create value and you drink alcohol, I don't care how good you are. You're operating at 50%, sometimes 80%, sometimes 20%, sometimes 0%. But anyway, you're not operating at 100%, right? That's the point. So can you build a great business, a great career? You know, how can you, can you build these things whilst drinking? Yeah. I mean, of course, there are plenty of people that do that. I've met many successful people that drink alcohol, but what we've got to ask ourselves and what we need to understand is that the alcohol did nothing to create any success for them. Nothing. Because how can consuming a toxic substance, a, a poison, ethanol, how can that create any value for anybody else. And um, you'll actually figure, you'll figure it out when we get to the end of the video, how it can create value, but we'll get to that. But the alcohol has not helped them. It's not helped their customers. It's not helped their career. It's not helped their team. It's not helped anybody. All that alcohol has done is taken from them. Sure. Do you know what? Maybe they built something great. Maybe they built something awesome. How much more could have that individual done if they were operating at hundred percent, they were eating the right food, they were sleeping well, and they didn't poison themselves every damn weekend, every damn night, whatever it is, how much more could they have been? And do you know what? Maybe there is a, a the 0.1% of people where the alcohol somehow did something in some way that led them to a great idea or whatever. But listen, that might be one in 10,000 people. I don't even know. Maybe there's zero people, right? There's, there's nobody that if they really looked at themselves and asked themselves that I did everything and I drank alcohol, I don't think there's a single person that would agree that they couldn't have done more if they didn't drink. And to me, that is my biggest fear is getting to 80, 90 years of age, looking back at my life, thinking, damn, I could have been so much more. I could have provided so much more for other people. And that fills me with fear. But I'm, I'm, I don't lie to myself. I'm real with myself. Most people that drink alcohol aren't. Because nothing's falling apart in their life, you know, the, the, everything's going okay, it's going well. In fact, there's a lot of people out there that have got such tremendous amounts of potential and they go and build this great life for themselves and they drink because the outside looking in, everything looks good. You know, the business is going well. They've got a beautiful car, beautiful home, beautiful family, and they're drinking. From the outside, it looks fine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what other people perceive your problem to be, your drinking to be. That doesn't make a difference. It's knowing in your heart that what you're doing is stupid. It's childish. It's, it's, it's immature. You know that in your heart. You know you could be stepping up more in your life. You just keep lying to yourself. But you know what happens when you remove alcohol from your life? You step into your potential. You step into the person that you always could have been. You start 
being happier. You start attracting better opportunities. You have more clarity, you have more energy. All these amazing things start happening when you remove alcohol from your life. So what happened to me is when I stopped drinking just under five years ago, I moved to Asia. You know, I was building skills. I was, I was developing these skills and I made a video about not drinking alcohol for a year. This was just something that I made that I thought might help a few people, you know, maybe a hundred views. And it went on to get 5,000 views and, and a, a lot of comments and stuff like that, which really led me to saying, well, hang on, can I help people more in this way? So I just started going in that direction, just creating more value, you know, and then I ended up building a program and building a system for other people to go through to help them get control of their drinking, which has gone on to help hundreds of people. You know, I've made almost 500 YouTube videos. I just keep giving and giving and giving. Now, I know that I help people stop drinking alcohol, but let's just remove that. The reason why I've built this business is because I just keep giving and giving and giving and giving and giving. I became somebody of value to other people. Now, for me personally, there is no way, you know, even if it wasn't about not drinking, right? There's no way I could have built what I built if I drank because I'd be at 30, 40%. Do you know what? Maybe I would have built this eventually, built something like this, you know, a YouTube channel that helps people, but it might have taken me 20 years instead of three, four years, right? It could have taken decades. I don't know about you, but I don't want to wait decades to build something awesome. I want to get it done now. I want to get it done quickly. I don't want to poison myself all weekend and, you know, kind of just waste Monday morning away feeling sorry for myself. And then kind of by Tuesday, I've got the ball rolling. Then Thursday comes and I'm already drinking again. I don't want that life. Who wants that life? Who wants to operate at 50%? You know, when you've got that clarity, that energy, that motivation, that that positivity, you're feeling inspired, that's when you start finding new ways to add value in other people's lives. You start seeing, you know, there's an issue in your local community. You keep seeing this problem, this, this, this thing, and you realize, I could build a business. I could create a service. You know, maybe in your career, you start seeing opportunities for new products, new ideas. You, you start to see, oh, well, hang on, if I keep doing this, then boom, all of a sudden you're getting a promotion. Three years later, you, you, you're you're a manager, a director, an executive, all because you didn't drink, all because you just kept adding value day by day. Then what do you think happens to your family life, to your kids, the way that they're brought up when you're somebody of value? that just keeps adding value. Yeah, sure, you're going to attract more money, but you're going to attract so many great things in your life. Better people, friends, opportunities, it's all going to come as a result of not drinking. And when we look at these people that are successful and they drink, can't buy into this idea that alcohol helped them at all. Just held them back. It didn't do anything to create the success. But I did promise you something. I I told you that I'd tell you about somebody that does drink alcohol and creates tremendous amounts of wealth. It's these damn celebrities. It's these celebrities They're going out, building a personal brand, posting on the internet, posting content. They're drinking all the time. You know, it's like, look at me with my tequila. Look at me with my this, my that. And those people are then going on to build alcohol companies, selling a drug to that audience, selling a drug that causes so much pain and damage in our world. And everyone just turns a blind eye to it. Well, it's just alcohol. Yet they go on to become billionaires. They're making hundreds of millions of dollars from this. And listen, it's absurd. It's absurd. There are people in very powerful places in our world that... I would say they're doing the devil's work. Literally, Satan is working through them. People don't want you to be clear and and that. What they want is they want you to buy alcohol again and again and again and line the pockets of these people. And listen, don't do it. Don't do it. See through the lies. See through the BS. Even for these celebrities and these, these, these huge characters, the alcohol didn't make them successful. Hard work did. Determination did. Ideas did. Creating value did. But then when they're starting to promote alcohol and then they're selling it and then their net worths are going up to the hundreds of millions, it's, 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 it's criminal. Anyway, if you click the video on the screen right now, you can get some incredible stop drinking motivation. Have a great day.